Isabella, she is two. This is Nevaeh, she is three. And me, my husband, we have five girls. Back in Wisconsin, it was scary. Not knowing where we were gonna be at the next day. If we were gonna be in the shelter, or if we would have to call somebody, can we spend the night? The toughest part, I would say, is telling the kids that we have to move again from shelter to shelter. With me moving so many times from different schools and that, I kind of lose Sometimes my confidence and then my skills from only learning different stuff for only like two weeks and then moving. We literally left with $150 from Wisconsin and got down here with $5 in our pocket. We started off with an emergency family shelter. After the emergency shelter, we were given a call by Vista Kalina. Our mom got a call right before the lights shut out and she stepped out of the cubicle to go into the bathroom and talk. And when she came back, she was smiling, and she said, okay, I got some good news. We are now moving from this place, and we're going to Vista Kalina. Once we got to Vista Kalina, to them, that wasn't a shelter for them. Vista Kalina to them was more of a home base community, which they got to have friends and play with. They had programs for the kids on, almost on a daily basis for the kids to do. There was a lot of volunteers that would come in. They would do art projects with the kids. And if I was needed shoes for my daughter, all of a sudden early in the morning, my one daughter needed shoes. I went to the front office. I told them I need a pair of shoes for her. They walked to the shed. We were able to find her a pair of shoes for her to go to school. Cass brought everything. They brought happiness, hope. Hold up to me, cause I'm living. 